Tonight, some are asking if the decision to arrest Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels just days before the election is all politically motivated. The sheriff says it is, and tonight some voters are claiming the same thing. News for Jax has a team of reporters working to get the latest information. We begin with Jim Piggott, who's live at the sheriff's office where he talked to political observers and voters about what they think is going on. Jim? You know, Tariq, I've been around here, around the sheriff's office today and Green Cove Springs, talking to people about what they think about this. With early voting going on right now, and I was there where people were voting, and also with the primary on Tuesday, they're wondering if there are some political motivations behind this or if it's something else. More than 16% of the registered voters in Clay County have already cast a ballot. Today, we talked to some who say they're not surprised by what's happening with the sheriff's race and the arrest of Sheriff Daryl Daniels. Many don't believe that it was a coincidence that it happened so close to Election Day. Why do you think it's political? Well, it came out this close to the election time. This stuff has been going on in the past, and they bring it up right now. To me, it's all political. I asked Michael Bender of the University of North Florida's Political Science Department about that. Bender heads up the Public Opinion Research Center for UNF. He says it's highly unusual for any sitting sheriff to be charged in a crime, and the fact that it's so close to the election does raise questions. But is this a political ploy? My guess is probably not. Uh, that being said, any charges filed in, in a case that's going to be this high profile, uh, those things have to be at least mentioned, discussed, or, or considered to some extent. Now, I don't necessarily believe that this was done strictly for political motives. Obviously, these charges have been out for over a year now, as it seems, and, and this is not a new incidence or a new investigation. And now, with many still waiting to vote, observers tell us there appears to be no doubt that the arrest will have an impact on the outcome. You think would that affect how you vote? No, because I wasn't going to vote for him anyway. Right, but do you think it will have an impact on this election? Yes, it will. Why do you think that? He broke the law. The sheriff says he didn't break any laws, and all of that will come out in court. All that being said, it's probably better that this happens prior to the election than if somehow you were to win an election and it's a week later, that makes it more complicated. You know, I did want to talk to State Attorney Melissa Nelson. Originally, she was handling this case and then uh, put it off to a special prosecutor because of a conflict. I wanted to ask her if she believes that this is politically motivated, at least for the timing. And at this point, her office says she can't comment on that. We're live in Green Cove Springs, Jim Piggott, Channel 4, the local station. Today, we also spoke with a former federal prosecutor about the case. News for Jack Sanker, Bruce Hamilton, asked him about Daniels' re-election campaign and the governor's ability to remove Daniels from office. Daniels says he intends to continue his run. So if he wins, how does this all play out? Because some of these are felony charges. Well, exactly, but the consequences of a felony conviction, not, a, not just an arrest, a conviction means that you can't run uh, for public office or hold public office. And of course, if he were convicted, I'm sure the governor would remove him. But right now, since he is uh, just an accused individual and not a convicted person, he's free to run for office. People can vote for him. If he gets elected, he gets elected. So those votes are going to count. Uh, ultimately, if he's removed by the governor or if he's convicted, he cannot uh, continue to hold that office. But for now, he's free to keep campaigning. All right, coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, the special prosecutor pursuing the legal charges against the Clay County Sheriff Daryl da Daniels is addressing statements by the sheriff last night directly following his arrest. What the special prosecutor said and more on the maximum penalty that the sheriff could face at 6 o'clock.